Hello Diverners, it's Mrs Whitehouse here again. I hope you're well and you're um, doing your schoolwork and doing some reading and enjoying yourselves outside if you've got some space to do that and go for a walk that would be really nice. Uh, I thought we'd make a game today, a little game that you can do on your own or you can play it with somebody if somebody's with you in the house. Um, and we can do it just for a bit of fun, or you can do it with some maths involved if you wanted to. So I'll show you how to do this. You need a box. Now this is a lid of uh, a box. It is only about five centimetres deep. So you don't any, want anything that's, that's too deep on the side. So if you have an adult that can help you cut down a box, or you could join two cereal boxes together, so that you have a box or like a tray shape. You could even do this on a tray if you had a tray that nobody was using for a little while because these things can be removed afterwards. And what we're going to do is make some little tunnels on our tray shape so that we've got somewhere for a little ball to run through. Now, if you want to do it just for a bit of um, fun, we could just put some numbers. So we'd have, we could have a number sequence. So on that one I'm going to put number one, on that one I'm going to put number two. So what we'd be trying to do is get our little ball to run around in a number sequence, so from one to ten. Or however many of these you want to put on your tray, you can put as many as you like on it. If you wanted to do it as a little maths game, then you could put some different numbers on so that you could add the numbers of the balls as they go through. So you could, if it goes through a number one and a number five, you could try adding those numbers together just to see if you could do that. And make your score, you could write your scores down and see who's the winner. Or see if you can beat your own score each time. So I've got... I'm going to make this one slightly shorter. So, obviously the bigger the little arch we're going to put them through, the easier as it is. So if you want to make it a real challenge, making these smaller and shorter will mean you have to try really hard to get through the little tunnels that we're making. No, I've put number nine, number eight twice, that's no good. Number nine. And I've got ten altogether, but you can have as many as you want. The fewer you have, the more space you've got to roll the little ball around. And it depends on the size of your tray, really. So what we do, we've got some tape. You can stick it down with glue, but you'd have to wait to let it dry. And as I'm a bit impatient, I'm going to do it with sellotape. And you fix the sellotape to the end and decide where they go. They can go anywhere you like. Okay, so that's my first little arch. So if you put down a couple of pieces of sellotape, put it down because you don't want them to move. Okay, so that's number one. Now can you see that's quite that's quite a high arch, so my ball won't have to try very hard to get through there. Number two, where's number two? Let's put number two over here. So you make it into a little arch. If you fold the base up, so fold up from the bottom about a centimetre, that's probably easier. And then make it into a little arch, little bridge. And the higher your bridge, the easier it is for you to take the ball through. And the lower the bridge, the more tricky, but it depends how skilled you want to get on this. Okay, that's number two. So let's fold the other one. This is number three. So I'm folding this up. And I'm folding it from the bottom as well so I can see the number. You need to be able to see the number on the top. You can decorate these little pieces of card. You could do pieces of paper if you haven't got bits of card. You could use cereal packet to do the little arches as well. I've just happened to have some card which is different colours. But you can use anything that will make you a little arch. Okay, this is number four. Again, we fold it up from the bottom. And the little strips can be as narrow as you want, 
or if you want to make them wider so that they've got a bigger arch, a bit bigger tunnel to go under, it really is down to you. Let's put number four in here. And you can make this as complicated as you like. And you could do it as a family game or something like that. Pass a bit of time, you can do it in the garden. You can make a mini, mini, tiny one for a little tiny box. So I've got one, two, three, four. Where can number five go? Here's number five. So let's fold number five up. Okay, you can always stop this little video at any time and see it back again so that you know what to do. Number seven, I'm going to run out of space. As I say, it depends on how big your tray is, this base part being your tray. So if you if you have a a bigger piece, but you have to be able to hold it and pick it up, so don't make it too huge, or else you'll not be able to do that. Where's number six gone? There's number six. Okay, so this is number six. Where's number six going to go? Come out of there. Okay, go around. Now, if you find it when you've put it together that it's a little bit tricky or it's too easy, you can always move these around a bit. By just taking them off the bottom. Five, six, seven. I'm going to put just seven up for now because you're not going to just. I'm going to make that one a little bit shorter actually. So fold that one back up again. A bit like a um, mini golf course. Okay, so you've got the sort of general idea is that I've made these little loops, such little bridges with numbers on them. And if you want to make it, as I say, as a maths game, you could have different numbers. So you could have several numbers of the same to add them together. You could do them as just trying to get it round, which would be interesting, trying to get it round. Now I've got a round the course, but you can lay it out exactly as you want and you can make it easy to start with and then you can add a few more if you want to just have a go and see what it works out like. So I've got a, a bead here. Um, obviously if this is uh, for, for very small children this is too small a ball. You need a ball that's big enough to go through your your loops but not too small that anybody's going to swallow it or anything like that. So see who's going to make, who's going to be using it and what size ball. But a ping pong ball could go through these. If you had a ping pong ball or a very large, you could make a scrunch up a piece of paper and make it into a ball shape. Um, but something that will roll through here. So this is where number one would start. This is going to be quite tricky. So let's see if Mrs. Whitehouse can do this. What's she got? So number one is here and I've got to go all the way over there for number two. So number one, let's take it all around the edge and then through. Oh, number two. Well done, Mrs. Whitehouse. Um, number three is over here. So let's try and go around and find number three. And that's number three. Oh, this is fun. Number three, number four. Got two. Number five. Oh, it's gone back to number three. Number six is over here. And presumably if you're playing this as a game with someone else, you could say if you've gone through the wrong one, then you have to start again. You could make up your own rules. Okay, so I can think you can see that Mrs. Whitehouse isn't as good as she thought she was on this. But I'm sure if I practiced enough, I could... It's really good for controlling... Things. Right, lovely. So, once you've done that, if you decided that's what your game was going to look like, you could then decorate it with, obviously, you could either paint it on the bottom. Obviously, if you put stick things onto it, then that's going to make your 
all going around here a little bit more tricky so just decide you could paint painting this the bottom of this would be better if you wanted it painted or you could paint it first before you stick your little arches on but I hope you'd have a bit of fun with that that'd be quite nice you could make your own rules up you could change the rules but this is just a simple idea for getting a little ball around a course using a cardboard box and some pieces of card or paper to make some little arches or anything else that you have you might have some yogurt pots that you could do it with so use your imaginations um, get playing I hope you like my little game and I'll see you again soon remember to keep washing your hands keep two meters apart and be nice to each other and we'll see you soon I'll be back with another little crafty make very shortly okay bye for now <laughs>